It is a huge twist. How, how, how did it feel to be part of that? You know, and, and the dramatic death. Yeah, I, uh, I was really excited by it. Obviously, I was quite nervous because it's such a huge stunt and I didn't have a stunt woman, so I had to be very brave. Um, when I was told the exit, I was, I was, my instincts were excited by it and up for the challenge. And now I'm really grateful because I think it would have been very difficult to portray Donna maybe dying from her illness and the, the deterioration and things like that. Um, this way, it was a completely different slant on it. Her life's been cut short for a reason, a valid reason. And um, I think it was more impactful and shocking and I think it's going to make people sort of sit up and take note of it. I don't know, it's like <laughs> dramatic. Yeah, yeah, well, it, cer it certainly is. I mean, I, I was just saying earlier that um, I've never seen a death like that on, on screen um, on any drama, let alone a soap. Really? Oh, well, well, yeah, yeah, I mean, you know, handcuffing yourself to another person and then... Yeah, yeah, it was full on. I think Donna's, um, Donna's panicking, she doesn't have time, she's in a desperate situation, you're not thinking logically for a split second, he's a massive threat to her daughter, end off, she has to get rid of him. And even if she did have enough to get Gary North put in prison, she won't be there when he comes out of prison. So the only logical thing for her, her a mother's instinct just takes over and she takes, takes away the threat, um, which is immensely yeah. sad especially yeah. for Ross who she loves and all her family members but it sort of just happens very quickly yeah yeah the Ross storyline obviously you know a really you know um, late season love I mean how did you kind of rationalize that in your head because you know she knew she, she was dying she only had months to go yeah for Donna um, she really battled with with this because she fell in love with him and she knew that she shouldn't and she couldn't and that everyone else would be against it but because she only had weeks to live her other the other side of her brain that doesn't wasn't thinking like a sensible person was like but you love him you're gonna die just do it just have your fun just tell him and 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 do the things that make you feel good and let yourself have this because it's you're not gonna be here much longer yeah. and her guilty side was like she knew it was wrong, but she couldn't resist. She just couldn't, couldn't hold back. But she didn't tell him. She didn't tell him because she needed the, she needed to get the job done, basically. And he would have protected her. He would have taken her away. He wouldn't have been up on that building with her. He, he, he wouldn't have even been there, I don't think, because she'd lied to him the whole time. And she needed him to get Gary North where she needed Gary North. So she's just been pulled in all sorts of different directions, morally. and. Um, her priority is April, and that's that's it really. And she needed to get rid of Gary. She needed Ross to get rid of Gary. Therefore, she couldn't tell him about the, yeah. the illness.